Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with the Game of Thrones Legacy Collection Walgreens exclusive Tyrion Lannister. Yet this ain't no ordinary action figure review, it's an action figure comparison with the regular release version of the character. So here they are going toe to toe and nose to nose on the left of the screen is the regular release Tyrion Lannister, dressed ready for combat at the Battle of the Black Water, and on the right is the Walgreens exclusive Tyrion Lannister in his regular hand of the king garb. But which is the best Tyrion Lannister action figure? Well we're gonna compare the various aspects of each one, sculpt, deco, accessories and articulation, then at the end of the videos you guys let me know in the comments which you think is the best. These are both made by Funko who you may know better as being the makers of Wacky Wobbler bobbleheads and pop vinyl figures. This Game of Thrones Legacy Collection being Funko's first dalliance with superposable, highly detailed 6 inch scale action figures. And if you're a long term viewer of my videos and remember my reviews of these action figures, you'll remember they did have some quality control issues to say the least, with them literally falling apart in my hands while well, I'm pleased to say Funko did replace all the damaged action figures I received, albeit it did take some perseverance on my part and I think about six emails in total went back and forth, which means hopefully I can get through this video without any of the limbs snapping off. It's nice to see how few parts have been reused on the exclusive, as often exclusives can just mean a different deco of the same old action figure. But here for the most part we are getting a genuinely new action figure that if not a Walgreens exclusive could have equally popped up in the Game of Thrones Legacy Collection second series. The attention to detail in the sculpt on each of these is really good. As a Marvel Legends collector I'm used to seeing so much reuse of parts in that line that it's so refreshing to see a detailed sculpt particular to these specific action figures. And for me the detail I enjoy most about the Walgreens exclusive figure is the Hand of the King. Pin. Taking an even closer look, and it's hard to tell if these are different head sculpts or not. They do look quite different, but maybe it's just the difference in deco that's making me think that. But if the head sculpts aren't different, then the hair certainly is. You compare the two, you can see in this part here. Tyrion has a strand that this one doesn't. And the deco on the faces of the exclusive one I think is superior. The skin colour is a much more natural tone. The regular one was a bit more ghostly. And then the stubble is done much better on this exclusive one. Here it looked a bit splashed on. Whereas on the exclusive it's much more subtly faded, although we do have two specks here. I guess I can pretend those are moles, but I think that's just from some sloppy paintwork. For accessories, the regular Tyrion comes with this battle axe. It's really nice detailed, both in the sculpt and paint. You can see the rivets on the handle, and then up here on the axe head, that's all sculpted in relief and then it's been given a really nice paint deco with silver and gold to the studded handle part. The axe fits into Tyrion's right hand and with it he looks pretty badass. He's ready to go defend against the invading forces of Stannis Baratheon. And I'm wondering what with him being so small if he couldn't have come with more accessories, with Tyrion being partial to a drink or two or six or twelve, maybe a goblet. The Walgreens exclusive Tyrion comes with this sword or dagger. Actually it's almost a ninja side blade. A second one of these and he'd be giving Raphael from the Ninja Turtles a run for his money. So before I conclude personally which Tyrion Lannister action figure I think is the best, let's quickly take a look at the articulation. The head rotates side to side, doesn't really look down too much and looks up a tiny bit, perhaps the regular release one a little bit more. At the shoulder the regular release figure is able to do a full rotation, whereas the exclusive one isn't as it's blocked by the sleeve of his tunic. And then the arms move up this much and then back down. There's rotation at the elbow and then the elbow is also hinged. At the wrist there's rotation and this is hinged moving down and up. There's waist rotation on each and then the legs move out to the side this much and then back in they move to the front this much but not really to the back. There's rotation at the knee plus this is also hinged moving up 
and down. There's rotation at the top of the boot. And then at the ankle, it's hinged, moving backwards and forwards. And then there's also an ankle pivot in the form of a Hasbro style ankle rocker. So all things considered, I think the best Tyrion Lannister action figure is the Walgreens exclusive one. And me saying that isn't really a slight on the regular release one. It's just the Walgreens exclusive one is in a costume that probably more typical of Tyrion Lannister in the TV show. Whereas as much as a little person in a suit of armor brandishing a battle axe is always gonna kick ass. But the Battle of the Blackwater lasted for what, two episodes? Making that appearance not the most typical of the character. So perhaps the regular release version is one more for hardcore fans of Game of Thrones or the Tyrion Lannister character. Which has stumped me why the Walgreens exclusive version is the version that's more typical of how Tyrion appears in the show. As I feel like an exclusive should be more of a niche product, a reward for the real hardcore fans to track down. But honestly, I'm a really big fan of the character. He's probably only second to Daenerys Targaryen in my heart, so I'm really pleased to have both of these. And now with Funko replacing my broken action figures, I can tell that they are striving towards a better quality. So I can say with confidence now that I'm looking forward to the second series of Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. Anyway, if you missed the previous action figure, a comparison click this video and as ever please help me out by giving this video a big thumbs up also remember to comment share and subscribe check out the description beneath this video for links to my facebook twitter and instagram click those links and connect with me there too hope to see you in my next video mm, bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bye